it was a, it was a lot going on uh like that 98 99 you know what yes. i'm saying you were saying like you know people were kind of accusing you of uh like big rule and like the whole mafia thing yeah that hurt that 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 took a turn in my life you know what i'm saying at that moment you know even though i'm young i'm just not perfect and that's why it is and i'm always be me because i feel like in this world as a man you got to have hard nuts if you ain't got that it, you know what I'm saying? What you're saying ain't going to be the truth to me. You know what I mean? And so that's why he was like, um, it was just, it was too much for him because what if I did do that? What if I was a part of that and he backing up a liar? You know what I'm saying? That's what he wanted to find out. Why, why would why would people accuse you of that though? Assume you, you know what I'm saying? Like, Well, you know, I got a little, I got a little thing to wear. You know, I'm going to stand on it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't just no bully or no bad guy or no monster or nothing like that. It's just if you mess with me, I'm going to mess with you back. You know what I'm saying? If I feel like I can't win, I'm going to do whatever it takes to get that W. At that time, as me and Screw was getting our relationship together, he get me back right, that was never on my mind. You know, violence and all fighting and all of that. You know what I'm saying? Because fighting, you don't get nothing out of that can't win or lose, may well get rich off of that. But anyway, yeah, and that's how it, it came. At that time, it wasn't, I wasn't even bothered, no. I wasn't even coming outside. You know what I'm saying? I'm dropping my little boy off at school in the morning, picking him up in the evening, taking him to the park. I ain't never did that. You know what I'm saying? School had put something on my mind to why I was trying to be a father now. You know what I'm saying? A, a person. You know what I'm saying? A civilized person, not no fool. You know what I'm saying? So. As this was going, people started ruining him because of me, because everybody getting in trouble, not because of me. You know what I'm saying? Had nothing to do with that. You know what I'm saying? I told him over and over, leave me alone about that. Not cause Did y'all have some type of beef or something? Or like, why would, you know what I'm saying? Like, now, my, uh, one of the little artists, I ain't going to say he was an artist. He was, the, he was the, I took him to school house. I feel like, you know, me and him had done a lot of stuff before, but as screw was changing me, that's what I'm gonna send back to the to the youngsters. Now we're not doing this here. We finna go in here. I finna talk to screw, and y'all gonna be in here on this microphone. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm trying to keep him, keep most of them with me, so I can vouch for the hey, amen. Them niggas ain't woo woo woo. But as it was going, I was going to jail too much, losing contact with the streets, so. Screw really don't know them people like I know them. He feel like if I bring it to them, they just like me. You feel me? But Screw really didn't know the crazy side about me like this. So after I had brought it down to him, then he was like, damn. So this nigga was never here now. I don't fool with dude. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get him back together. He said, well, he said, he said it was like, everybody's not a bad person. You know what I'm saying? So he was getting off into that. And then Fat Pat, Screw had made some shirts for Fat Pat. And a little, a little school, a baby, I think he was in elementary, a junior high. They kicked him out of school for having a Screw shirt on. So now he really just, he turned up, but he, it's not on no DJ type to me, you know what I'm saying? Now after they kicked the little school out of, the kid out of school for having on the shirt, that really just turned him into something else because he started, hey, I seen him with a gun. I'm like, damn, screw you, you a DJ. You know, gangster. He like, I don't know the trust. And me and him was on the one right there at that time, so that would let me know that he not saying that I had something to do with it, but everybody had my name in it. You know what I'm saying? So I had explained it to him. Screw, we all watch Juice and Island, because he used to make me watch Juice and Island mother movie. I, I'd always be asleep. He wasn't on serve then, you know what I'm saying? And I was always like, be asleep. I can't watch no movie. And then as I go home, sometimes I put it in, and I'm like, damn. So I go back, I call Screw, come out there, come out to the studio, and go to the studio, and we. He was still trying to get to me and see where I was to the point where he was like, 
damn, I think my kid folk did do that. You know what I'm saying? Because me and Screw had to the point we weren't even answering the calls no more. You know what I'm saying? He'll call me, I won't answer. I call him, he won't answer. Then I end up popping up at the studio. That's when he'll let me know. That was letting me know that now since I'm just popping up, he really ain't trusting me now. So I had to get back in another way just to let him know. So I think, I can't remember, I think D. Drew was repeating him. D. Drew was doing something and it caught attention of Flip. But Flip had his own crew anyway. But I thought D. Drew had no Flip, but I really didn't, I really didn't know Flip them like this. You know what I'm saying? I just came home and, and met them through him. And I'm just watching everybody come in every day. So as D. Drew was doing his little thing, flipping his little crew, and Screw was entertaining them, these little kids. Like Flip, Scooper Star, couple of J, J. Fletch, Youngster. You know what I'm saying? Them type was on the floor. So that let me know, hey, okay. So I said, I'm going to get myself together. As me getting myself together, he had, I always have problems in, in like, I don't know. And then it just one day he just rolled with me, man. And he just, after that, he had so much. We went to jail about five, six times, fell out the attic. And he still said, fuck him. I said, fuck him too. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston.